Welcome to another video. A walk on the wild side and I've got a special video for you today. I'm going to be going inside Blackpool Zoo for the first time in 40 years. Here we are at the zoo. I can't even remember the last time I came here folks. I was at secondary school, maybe 13, 14, something like that. If you saw my video last year with the map master you'll know it took me 40 years to go up Blackpool Tower. And it's the same here with the zoo. Oh, look at this. We've got some wildlife already. Check it out. Got some peacocks here roaming around in the car park. Look at this. We've not even gone in yet. Oh, I can hear sirens in the distance. Well, that'll be Blackpool Hospital because the zoo is very close to Victoria Hospital. It's the other side of Stanley Park. It's a bit of a walk if you're coming from the town centre, but... There are buses that come here to the zoo. There's a 5B, Blackpool Transport, but they also have like a special bus that comes here. They've got a hop on, hop off service. They actually went on it a couple of years ago. If you want to check out that video that comes here to the zoo, you can get on it at Blackpool Tower and come all the way here to Blackpool Zoo. And another thing about Blackpool Zoo is as well, I have covered it a couple of times in the past when I've been around this area. It used to be an aerodrome. Yeah, so you see these buildings behind me. We've got the main entrance over there. We've got another building here, a playhouse, and just over here behind me is what I, I believe it used to be the elephant house, and that was like the main hangar for the old Blackpool aerodrome. Well, it's half past nine in the morning, it's all quiet here at Blackpool Zoo. Just check out this car park here, there's no one even here. What's going on? It opens at 10 o'clock as well, and there's nobody else in the car park. What's going on? So I'll just quickly show you this building here. And that was the main hangar at the Blackpool Aerodrome, Blackpool Second Airport, yeah. It only had a grass runway, actually. Yeah, it didn't have a tarmac runway like the other airport at Squires Gate. And it was even uh, taken over by the RAF, yeah, for a while uh, during the war. And they actually had a, a Wellington Bombers production line here, yeah. There you go, yeah, a bit of history for you. Blackpool Zoo. Yeah, so I'm going to be heading in Blackpool Zoo for the first time in 40 years. It's a special day for me today. And what I'll do is we'll head in there and I'll show you as much stuff as I can, as many animals as I can. What's your favourite animal, by the way? Someone asked me, what's your favourite animal? I said, I've no idea, really. Elephants or something like that. There is one animal I'd like to see, and that's I'd like to see that pelican. Remember the pelican that went missing last year? And it went, flew all over the country, it escaped from Blackpool Zoo, and it ended up, I think they ended up catching it in Yorkshire or something like that, about, about a month after it escaped, yeah. So we'll get to see the pelican that escaped. It's a massive car park, by the way. Uh, it costs three pounds in February. Now that could change in the season, I don't know. So you might want to check up on that. I'll put some information in the description. But we're gonna head into Blackpool Zoo now. Here we go, first time in 40 years. Wow. Check it out, Blackpool Zoo. Here we go, folks. It's very quiet at the moment. <laughs> we are in February. Can you imagine what it must be like in here though in the summer? Loads and loads of people. Loads and loads of kids as well. Excited to see the animals at Blackpool Zoo. It's a bit like a shopping mall in here. We've got, got a big shop there. Visitor service hub there. Well, no lines today. Well, that's good. Here's a look at the prices. These are what the prices are at the moment. I'm not sure if they're going to change, but I'll put the information in the description for you. Today, for an adult, it's £22.99. Yeah, I don't think it's that cheap, actually. What do you think, folks? Yeah, £23 for an adult, £74 for a family. Wow. But they do do offers here in Blackpool. You can get discounts, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm sure in the information that I've put in the description, you can find a way to get cheaper. I also think that if you book online, you can get it cheaper. So information will be in the description if you want to check that out for yourself. 
here's a little bit of history for you, just inside the main doors here. The early days, 1931, opened as Blackpool M Municipal Airport. And then it became Stanley Park Aerodrome. The council took it over in 1945. It was used for the Royal Lancashire Show. And if we go over here, the Blackpool Tower Zoo closes in 1969. Didn't know they had a zoo in there, I know they have a circus. Uh, and then the zoo actually opened in 1972 and Johnny Morris was at the opening ceremony. There you go. Well, it's just coming up to 10 o'clock and they've opened up the lines. Blackpool Zoo is now officially open. Let's check it out, shall we? Yeah, there's quite a few people turned up as well in the last 10 minutes. Look at this. What's it going to be like in summer? Oh, here we go, folks. First time in 40 years. Coming into Blackpool Zoo. Here we are. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so special, folks. Look at this. I'm inside Blackpool Zoo for the first time in four decades. Let's have a little look around. First impressions. Got a little pen here. Not sure what's in there. We'll find out in a minute. I'll try and show you as many animals as I can. Who doesn't love dinosaurs? Check these out. Okay, so these are the first animals we've come to. Giant tortoises. Check it out. There's the information there. You can read that and look at these in here. Look. Wow. The size of them. What's this here? Project Elephant. Dinosaur Safari. Let's go through here, shall we? Project Elephant Base Camp. Some of these uh, like stalls and that won't be open at this time of year, but in the summer they will be. Let's have a little look at the prices. Oop, slipped then, you know. I just slipped on the floor then. I almost went, folks. Starbucks, there you go. I've got music playing now. This one's not real, folks, but it's a woolly mammoth. It did once wander the earth. Well, I did sort of think that maybe the elephants probably would be one of my favourite animals to see and one of the first ones I want to see. So uh, it looks like we're on the way to the elephants up here, up this walkway. So. out there look crowded space heavy traffic on busy days this area could have lots of visitors you can just imagine can't you what it must be like here in the in the summer yet now it's it feels like we're the only, the only people in here and you know i've actually been to san diego zoo as well that's quite a famous zoo isn't it on the other side of the the world almost uh, west coast of america there san diego zoo. it's got these walkways just like this here yeah Okay, so we're looking down here on a bit of a mud pit, actually, by the looks of it at the moment. I believe that this is probably where they let the elephants in to roam around when they let them out. Now, they're probably held indoors at the moment, so uh, we'll see if we can see some, shall we? Yeah, I just think that this uh, was once an aerodrome. Yeah, back in the olden days, yeah, what a history. And then eventually it got turned into a zoo. 1972, so, so the, the zoo was probably only open for about 10 years when I came in. So we're heading up here now to Project Elephant Base Camp up here. I believe that they moved the elephants into this new enclosure because they were originally in the old aerodrome hangar that you'll see on the old photographs. If you look on the old photographs, you'll see it. Link in the description to the old photos of the aerodrome. Here we go, elephants. I'll tell you one thing, as soon as you step into here, the smell. <laughs> it's not the best smell ever, but can you see them? Now look, they're in there, they're in that pen there. Yeah. Look at that, Asian elephants they are. Now the only thing I know about Asian elephants is that they have smaller ears than the African elephants, yeah. That's how you can tell. 
an Asian elephant, the smaller it is. Oh, look at this folks, it's so exciting, they're opening one of the gates, look. Oh, they come, they come through into the pen. Look at this, here comes one, hey! And you know, one of these elephants has been here since the zoo opened. Yeah, how about that? Look at that, we've got an elephant folks here at Blackpool Zoo. It's like it's getting something to eat already, look. Look at this, wow, isn't it exciting? Well, they're all coming in now. And the gate's closing, look at that. It's all state of the art here, isn't it? That's a Blackpool Zoo. We've got the elephants. Oh, I tell you something, it's really warm in this elephant enclosure here at Blackpool Zoo. And this actually opened in 2018, yes, yeah? so it's been going since 2018. It's absolutely amazing, yeah? Skull of an Asian elephant. Check out the size of this, wow. Okay, so we've got a little look at the elephants. How about that, eh? That's not a bad start, is it? Anyway, I'm back outside now in the fresh air. It absolutely stunk in there, by the way. It's nice to be back out in the fresh air again. I'll nip back later on and see if we see any elephants come outside. Not sure what's in here. What's interesting. Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? You know, it reminds me a bit of being in a theme park, this. Let's see what else. What will we see next? Pad up, you in. Ah, it's like a base level for the elephants, so if you come round here, you can actually get a ground level view of them. When they come outside, we'll just have a little look, listen to the robin. Yeah, it does look a bit of a mud pit at the moment. Hopefully it'll be a bit drier in the summer. Let's carry on this way. Caution, dinosaurs ahead. Do not cross barriers. Stay on path at all times. Ooh. To this. Got a wreck of a plane over there as well. seeing a whole lot more dinosaurs and real animals at the moment but uh, let's see what's through here shall we let's carry on Blackpool Zoo check this out we've got a fountain going on here now look it's erupting So I've just left the dinosaur area, which is massive by the way. They must have had every dinosaur going there. I've now come out here into this like arena here where they will do demonstrations here. There's some of the animals. There's a cafe over there, the Lakeview Cafe. We'll be taking a look down this way now. Let's check out and see what we can see down here, shall we? So we've got this lake just in front of the cafe and just over there, in an enclosure, I can see monkeys. Look at this in the monkeys, folks. Okay, so I'm now in the Lakeview Cafe here at Blackpool Zoo, and we've got three different counters for different things here. They've even got a subway counter, if you want a subway. Now, they do have a meal deal on at the moment for 7 75 adults. Kids are a little bit cheaper. I'll just show you the price. I think it's 5 75 for kids. Not particularly cheap. If you want a cup of tea, it's £2.10. Coffee is £2.60. You can eat packed lunches here at Blackpool Zoo, but you can't eat them in here. There are other parts of the zoo where you can eat packed lunches. 
Okay, I'm just checking this map of the zoo. So we came in here. That's where we came in, and we got to see the elephants first. And then we went through the dinosaur safari. There's a whole lot more to see here yet. But you know the hangar I was talking about, the aerodrome hangar, that was off to this side. So it looks like it's not part of the zoo anymore. They probably just use it for storage. But we've got all this rest of the zoo to see here yet. Oh, coming to the monkeys, folks. There we go. Look at this. M is for monkey. Let's go and see if we can see any. I don't see any in these. Uh, oh, there's one there. Look, way. Hello. Oh, over here we've got Amur Tiger enclosure and look at this we've got this pane of glass here which looks so clear you could almost walk straight into it look at this I wonder how many people have walked straight into this glass check this out folks we've got a tiger yes here at Blackpool Zoo a tiger right over there I wonder if we can get closer to it it's right at the back over there look there a tiger Imagine having one of them in your backyard. Yeah, so we're now at the Tiger enclosure here. We've got this building here. A lot of these buildings do look new, you know. I wonder how much Blackpool Zoo's changed since it opened. It must have changed a whole lot, mustn't it? Anyway, we can see them through this window here. Look at this, wow. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Look at all these people at the Tiger enclosure. It's pretty popular. So we're just going around the lion enclosure. I can see three females. There's one on a, that rock over there. They've got this one here in the middle on the, the wooden tree house thing and there's one over there in the distance see by the fence that was making a bit of a noise before let's go and have a closer look shall we yeah look at all these people here look. can't go any further though i don't think can we uh, i don't know can't see the mail line at the moment so what we'll do is we'll have a look and check out the giraffe shall we giraffe heights here we go Oh, look at this straight away. <laughs> oh, look at that, folks. Whoa, there you go. Can't see its head. It's right up there. Can you see it? It's eating something up there. Look, let's have a look at that one over there, shall we? There you go. We'll probably get a better view if we go on that balcony up there. But there's a balcony up there. Let's have a look up there, shall we? Yeah, so we can get a better view of the giraffes by going up this uh, walkway here. So let's have a look from up there, shall we? Now then, look at this. Whoa. Check this out, folks. Look at that. It's very popular here in the giraffe house. I'm just going to head outside. I think one of them came outside. We've got a little yard out here. Can't see anything. I think one of them came outside. We'll see if we can find it. Take a selfie with the giraffes. Stand right here on the spot and you might get one coming right up to you here. We've just come to a dead end on this waterway here. I'll just give you a little view of the zoo here from up here. Get a good view down looking over there. What have we got down there? We've got like a, what is it? What's that thing down there? It's a, it looks a bit like a giant beaver. <laughs> I'll put the name of it on the video because at the moment I can't think of the name of it. But here we go. We're looking down on another enclosure just over there. We've probably got birds in there, haven't they? Being Avery, won't it? Oh, 
otters. This is the otter enclosure here. Now, one thing I just want to mention as well, it can be a bit muddy here at the zoo, so if it's a wet day, you might want to not bring your best shoes. Check it out, we've got the otters. Oh, they're just running off. Oh, they're going into the water on the other side. Let's see if we can catch them on the other side. So, oh no, they're going into the house. Can you see them over there? Look, they're just going back into the house. They were all out there. I think they scared them off. Here they are. There you go. The otters. Check out this weather now, folks. The sun has come out here in Blackpool. Look at that blue sky here at Blackpool Zoo. Got a quick look at a orangutan there. Got quite a big open space here at Blackpool Zoo as the sun comes out. Isn't it amazing? Just over here we've got uh, some tables where you can bring it. If you bring a packed lunch, suppose you can sit there. Get a bit of a playing area for kids here. We've got another little sort of um, takeaway place there for food. Just up here is the orangutan enclosure. Let's go in here, shall we? Yeah, so I'm just making my way up to the orangutan enclosure and down there is like a picnic area. All that there, so if you bring a pat lunch you can sit out around here and the weather's looking pretty good for it today, isn't it? I think they're all outside, folks. So we can't see the orangutans from the, the top, they're all outside, aren't they? So let's head back outside, shall we? Plenty of places to see them from. There you go, you can see a couple of them there, down there. Having a play in the sunshine here at the Blackpool Zoo. Check this out, we're at the train station, that's North Station over there. Almost by the entrance where you come into the zoo down the road. You can only get off the train there by the way, but I just want to show you this building here. This is the Darwin Centre for schools. I believe that this here was the old entrance to the zoo when I last came here. What do you think, folks? I believe that this was the old entrance to the zoo. The old way in, the last time I came here. Am I right or am I wrong? You're not gonna believe this, we've just come out of the cafe, yeah? Half past 12, got something to eat. I've got a hot dog here and some chips. £7.75 and a seagull's just gonna nick my hot dog. Can you believe it? What a disaster, folks. Yeah, and by the way, the cafe in there was absolutely stuffed, folks. Not cheap, £7.75 for the meal day. I'm going to have to buy another hot dog to make up for the one that the seagulls nicked. Pelicans. I just wonder if it was one of these that escaped. What was it? <laughs> oh, it's kicking off at this sea line. <laughs> Here at the gorilla pound, it's kicking off before. Let me 
chasing each other. There's still plenty of seating available in here for you. And we will be starting at that demonstration very shortly. Now, just a few more from taking it out. So, for those of you that do plan on joining us today for our demonstration, using her forward facing eyes, her long flexible neck, she can judge speed and distance. She can catch all four of those seats, doing it all very easy. Well done, Ruby. She can detect the vibrations in that ball. Keep it balanced. She can even pass it back to her trainer as well as well. Thanks for it. And for us, we have to learn a few for us today. Well done, Tyler. Ah. And she's on the other side of the world, like it says. Coca-Cola freestyle. Refillable cups. Fifteen ninety-five. It's not cheap, is it, folks? We're on the train, folks. The Blackpool Zoo Express. That's a warthog. Yeah, a warthog. do now is you take the train off and they turn it around. It's magic isn't it folks? You go back the other way. Check out that sunlight now here at Blackpool Zoo. Yeah, my first visit in over 40 years. Can you believe it? And I've shown you around. I'm not showing you everything because there's a bit too much to show really. And uh, I want it to be a surprise for you. Why don't you come down here for yourself and try it out? I hope I've given you an idea of how much it costs, how you can get in a little bit cheaper with the offers, book online, that sort of thing. Car parking was three pounds. If you want to get the bus here, it's the five pounds. B, or you can get the hop on hop off zoo bus from Blackpool Tower and it brings you right here. So there you go, I hope you like this video. I'll put some information in the description for you if you need to know any more. And if you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.